A very pleasant good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Street with Big Stone. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I got a very disturbing text on my WhatsApp, and I just want to share it with you. It is in regards to the national identification system as brought on by the Jamaican government. And I read, we already have three pieces of national ID, passport, driver's license, and the photo's ID. All three pieces of information, such as fingerprint, your description, including eye color, mother's maiden name, place of birth, etc. The TRN is a unique number given to every Jamaican, including children. Why do we need to borrow nearly $9 billion to replicate what we already have? Merge all the info to your TRN. Therefore, once that number is entered, you can view the person's bio data, including passport, driver's license, firearm, property tax, birth and marriage certificate information, TCC and NCC info, utility bills info, service address. It should not be mandatory to have a national ID, but make easier to do business by producing a TRN card comparing to have just one or no ID card. Now this is the part ladies and gentlemen that really troubles me and I really don't know if it's true I cannot verify this okay. Imagine Jamaicans will be fined one hundred thousand dollars or put in prison if you refuse to have your eye scan, refuse to have your vein pattern captured to give you a toe print, your footprint. If your refusal to give your financial information, you will refuse access to essential services such as health care, your constitutional right is taken away and given to the Prime Minister to decide as he see fit for you. That's what this NIDS is all about. It says we must object and demonstrate if necessary. Now ladies and gentlemen, I went online because I was curious and wanted to find out what is this national identification system that our Prime Minister Andrew Onis is bringing forward to the Jamaican people. I'm going to go online and then I'll read as follows. The government of Jamaica is designing and developing a national identification system NITS, that will provide a comprehensive and secure structure to enable the capture and storage of personal identity information for citizens and persons ordinarily resident in Jamaica. The NIDS will become the primary source for identity assurance and verification and will result in improved governance and management of social, economic and security program. What is NIDS? The National Identification System called NIDS is a unique, reliable, and secure way of verifying an individual's identity. It will establish a reliable database of all Jamaican citizens and will involve the issuance of a unique, lifelong national identification number to every person. In the long term, the NIN may be used alongside a multi-purpose card or be loaded onto smartphones. The use of biometric fingerprint or retina scan is also being explored. The question asks, why a NIDS? At present, Jamaica does not have a central national database, but the accompanying system to support secure, reliable identity verification and authentication. The various system issues different numbers based on the diverse standards and are not necessarily able to connect and share information with each other due to logistical or legal barriers. Therefore, individuals can assume multiple identities. What are the objectives of NIDS? To establish a reliable database of Jamaican citizens and other individuals or ordinarily resident in Jamaica with a unique national identification number as the primary key identifier of a person in the system. To enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of government entities, management and delivery of government services to the public 
to include program benefits such as the National Insurance Scheme, the National Health Fund, Welfare, e-government, creating the linkage between entities and providing the following services. Citizens to Government, C2G. Government to Government, G2G. Services, Government to Business, G2B Services, and Government to Citizens, G2C Services, among others. To facilitate the growth and development of commerce and economic activity through the provision of a platform of greater security and integrity for public partnership. To enhance the government's ability to secure compliance with critical obligation to the state to include tax collection, among others. Strengthening of immigration, border control, management, public safety, and national security. Now the question is asked, what are the benefits of NIDS? Reduce the need to register for each benefit and or obligation, payment of property taxes or receiving part benefits. This will, among other things, simplify the government process and eliminate costs incurred from paper purchase and other administrative tasks. Assist in the fight against crime by providing the relevant authorities to access to a secure database which captures civil and biometric data of citizens and residents in Jamaica. Minimize the capacity of an individual to assume multiple identities which has contributed to illegal activities such as money laundering, tax evasion and credit card fraud. Now Jamaica, I really do not understand this system quite well. I guess as the weeks and the months progressive, the Prime Minister must come forward and give us detail as to what this national identifying system is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You can formulate your own decision. Is this good for Jamaica? Is this secure for Jamaica? Is this the 666 that is being mentioned in the Bible, the mark of the beast? We don't know what is coming, ladies and gentlemen. We are here waiting, looking, and watching. This is my take on it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, and please do have a great day. Thank you.